What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tony D2Wild checking in once again. Tony Digital bringing back another 4K visual. Back with another banger today, guys, on the top 10 upcoming sneaker releases of the month of September. September is going to be a big month. You'll know why later on. Not in this video, but just, just pay attention to me, okay? Pay attention. But guys, before we even get to today's video, make sure that you hit that like button. Turn on post notifications. Click the bell. Click it. Get post notifications whenever I post a video. You need to make sure you're watching and comment. I love it. You know what I'm saying? Guys, today's video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Now, I've been using ExpressVPN for about two years now. And ExpressVPN, well, first of all, a VPN is a virtual private network. It is basically what connects your device to the internet. And when surfing on an unencrypted internet, you are able to have information from your devices stolen I mean, by a hacker or by anyone, someone with basic knowledge can take information like personal detailing, passwords, uh, financial details and all the above. But what a VPN does is basically makes a security tunnel for you, your device and the internet. ExpressVPN likes to think of it as a postcard and them being the envelope. You can't see what's on that postcard because of the protection there. There's a lot of different ways that it's broken down that ExpressVPN will help you. Security, privacy, content unblocking, a lot of those things for their security purposes. Like I stated before, it will protect you from hackers being able to get your information like passwords, financial details, and all that, which leads to the privacy side of things. So from a privacy standpoint, you know, US ISPs, internet service providers, they can pretty much sell your information and data to other people out there. But with that masked IP from ExpressVPN, you are secured. But honestly, my favorite is definitely the content unblocking. And you can use this on various websites like YouTube, Spotify, my favorite, Netflix, to basically unlock content that you normally can't see by simply redirecting your IP address to another country. Perfect example, on Netflix right now, the show Prison Break is no longer on there. However, when I redirect my IP from the USA to UK, I can now watch Prison Break easier than ever. It's just there unblocked. This has been done numerous times in the past and for future shows when they go on and off Netflix but are available in different countries, you can easily just change your IP from a USA one to another country, either in Europe, uh, Africa, wherever it may need to be. And voila, the content is now unblocked. If you're a content creator, if you are a person that works on the internet, it's definitely important that you guys probably get a VPN. If you surf the net on YouTube, it's probably important. If you're logging into different places like Starbucks, McDonald's, airports, it's very important to have that information safe and secure. Trust me, you know what I'm saying? That's why a lot of people get doxxed. A lot of people get stuff taken, information like passwords. I've even had it happen, you guys know. So it's very important to have some sort of VPN protecting you, and that's why I highly recommend ExpressVPN. Guys, right now, if you click the link down below in the description, which is www.expressvpn.com forward slash Tony D, you will get three months for free. Try it out. Three months for free. ExpressVPN.com slash forward Tony D. Did I say it right? It kind of rhymes a little bit. I like that. But huge shout out to ExpressVPN for sponsoring today's video. Check the link down below in the description. Three months for free. Try it. Just try it. That's all I'm saying. Thank you for the continuous love and support as always. And let's get straight to today's video, man. Let's rock. Coming in at number 10, guys, we have the Reebok Question Mid OG meets OG. Now, we've seen one of these before. I think these ones released in August. It was a black and red version, very similar to the colorway of a James Harden, the OG James Hardens. What we are seeing here now is a whole different colorway in a matte silver and blue. The blue reminds me a lot of the OG Reebok Question, you know, like the original, the blue toe version. And we have the red toe, the blue toe version. The OG Meets OG is a celebration with Reebok, which is owned by Adidas. It's one reason why this can happen. The celebration between the mutual respect between Allen Iverson and James Harden. I like the colorway a lot. I like the original one. I like these more in my opinion. And these are releasing on September 2nd at a price point of $150. I'm digging these. I like these a lot. I'd love to know what you guys think about these as well. But also it's said that there's another colorway dropping in a metallic silver later on down the line. But this is my number 10 sneaker. Coming in at number nine, this one might not even be on your list. You might actually be kind of mad at me for putting this one on the list. But honestly, I like it a lot and I wanted to switch some things up and get some other brands out there than Nike and Jordan because I can honestly fill this list up with Nike and Jordan. I could, 
in, in every, every month. And I think that you guys deserve better than that. At the same time, I do respect these and I like these a lot. And this is the Rude and Puma collaboration on the Cell King. This is releasing on September 5th at a retail price point of $150. You might have, these might look kind of familiar to you. You know what I'm saying? The, the Kings. These are uh, very, 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 very famous, prominent, respected football sneaker. When I mean football, I'm not talking about football, I'm talking about soccer. You know, the original OG football. Now, the, the they are they are mixing the, the 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 king football boot with the futuristic cell technology that we've been seeing a lot lately in all the Pumas that have been coming out, like the old old school type of vibes, the vintage type of look. The cell mixed with the king, cell king, get it mashed up and collaborated with Rude, a well-known brand that's been kind of, in my opinion, it was up. It's a little bit down now. It's kind of like climaxed already, but it's still a prominent, respected brand. I'm not, I'm not buying it because of the root. I'm buying it because of the look. I like how these look, in my opinion. And that's that. 150 bucks, not too bad. I need to see more about it, but I do like these and there's Pumas and they're just different. So I wouldn't mind giving them a shot, you know? I think I can finesse these. It is what it is. But these are releasing September 5th. $150, the Puma Cell King, the Rude Puma Cell King. Coming in at number eight, guys, one of my favorite releasing of the month of September is the Jordan 5 Oregon Duck. Originally, I wouldn't say released, but originally debuted back in 2014 as a PE. These will actually be releasing now September 12th for $190. Now, there will be differences. There won't be no Oregon Dunk logo, and this is also a part of Jordan's, I would say, coll collegiate series of sneakers releasing. We've seen the Jordan 5 Michigan drop. That was last year. This year, we had the UNC 3s, which I think is one of my favorite shoes so far. One of them. I already did like, the top 10 list. Go check that list out if you haven't already. Of 2020, that's one of my favorite shoes to drop, and it has that same little inspire on the inside on the fives on the back so on the back of this jordan five there'll be a little tag that will talk about inspiring collegiate colors and all that now we have the jordan five oregon duck releasing on september 12th my thoughts and opinions i like them i wish we could have the o on the tongue and the duck on the back we're not going to get it because they're not going to pay those type of schools to throw out that shoe that's that, that school wants some money you feel what i'm saying so i understand but man, hey, duck, duck, goose on that thing. I, I, it don't matter, man. I am looking forward to getting my hands on these. I just hope I can see a comparison of the two, which I'm pretty sure someone will do out there. I think Kais has a pair of the Oregon Duck 5, so hopefully we'll be able to get some sort of comparison of the two to know what's the differences in between the two. Because if they get this thing spot on, it's even better, man. I can, I can, I can do, I can customize and put a duck on there if I need to. I'm pretty sure someone's gonna do it. So it is what it is. But with that being said. Definitely a shoe I'm looking out for, and I'm looking forward to getting, man. I, I love them. That duck neck, phew, let's get it. Coming in at number seven, this shoe was a little bit, this is sparked a couple of, a little bit of controversy. That is the Yeezy 350 V2 Azrael. Now, the Azrael is releasing a side with the Israfil, supposedly that's what's going on. It seems like they're gonna be releasing very, very close, if not on the same day, but it's causing a lot of controversy because Israel or Azrael and Israfil are two angels in, in, in the Islamic religion. Azrael being the angel of death and Israfil being the angel of music. Makes sense with music kind of and all that. But people are not, they don't like that. They're not, they're not liking that, they're, that their religion is being used as a colorway or being used as being sold. And I can understand that, I that, like trust me, I I don't disagree with that at all, you know what I'm saying? So, um, Adidas have already paid the money, the shoe's already been made sitting somewhere in a warehouse, so I wanna see how they're gonna end up changing this thing up, or if they're gonna change the name or do what they're gonna do, you know? If there was a Adidas uh, Jesus Christ or a Jesus Moses or something like that, I could see the same thing. Like, we've seen this happen in the past, Nike, dropped the Tim Hardaway bacon. Remember that? On the back, it had Nike Air or Nike on it, but it looked like it said Allah. It was like an Islamic font. And, you know, a lot of people did not like that. And they ended up changing it. When they retro the shoe later on, it just had the regular Nike font. But the originals have that Islamic font going on. So we've seen this happen in the past. I'm looking forward to seeing how it's gonna happen now in the current state. And Believe it or not, as bad as it's got to say it, but I'm just going to keep it 100. Any publicity is going to be good publicity with this. Once people hear about how much controversy is, it's going to make people want to buy into it. 
because of what happened during that release, you feel me? But with that being said, all that to the side, the shoe itself, the colorway itself is crazy, man. Like, I'm so used to that monochrome they've been doing, I'm getting tired of it. So seeing like a black upper with a gum bottom, it's like, woo, it's making me go crazy, you feel me? Like, that's kind of stupid at the same time because like, bro, that should be something normal. But the color, the black that's used, it's something different. I don't know, I, I, I'm, I just, I can get jiggy with it, man. I like it. Aside from the name, but I like the shoe. You know, I'm not, I'm not when somebody say, yo, what, what's the, I'm not gonna say these are the easy as reels. I'm just gonna say, man, these are some easy 350s because there's 3,000 different pairs of them. I can't remember all these damn names, you feel me? But they're dope. I like these a lot. Good, good, good shit. Coming in at number six is the Nike Dunk High Pro Green. Now these released in some sort of fashion back in 2008 as the Pine Green, but now they are coming out with the Pro Green. Um, Pine Pro, yeah, I, I guess it's the same thing. You know, I like these though, I can't lie. Dunk Highs, we know are insane right now. They're going crazy. Supposed date on this is September 23rd and the supposed retail is 110. A lot of dunks are going for 110. I've seen some going for 120. So I would say 110 on this model in general. And we're seeing a lot of these, you know, pine greens and stuff coming. These these collegiate, the college type of colors, the, the varsities and all that. We got a couple of other colorways dropping later on in the list. But this pro green one is dropping on the 23rd. I like it. Very basic, white and green. I love pine green. I love, I guess you could say pro green, I guess. I'm a very, very big fan of those type of green colorways. Forest green, pine green, pone green. Pro green, when it, you know the Jordan 14, uh, forest greens that drop, like I've been waiting on those to restock or come back out or re-retro. But this one in general, it's cool. It's very basic, there's nothing really much to say about it, but it's dope that it's coming out. So if I could get my hands on it, I definitely will make the thing happen, you feel me? So it is what it is. Coming in at number six, we have the Nike Dunk Low Pro Chicago. Now, this is pretty much like a Jordan 1 Low Chicago, you, you, you see what you what you see is what you get, you know? More than likely the price point on these is gonna be $90. Now the set release date is not confirmed at all. However, over on UK, the release date is slated for September 1st. So I will say sometime in September we will be getting this shoe. Some people have said September 13th, but do not hold me to that date because there has not been a date confirmed. But in UK, they are releasing it September 1st. So, they're, they, we usually keep things all together, you feel what I'm saying? But this isn't the first time that Nike's done something like this with the Dunk. We've seen it with the Royals, we've seen it with the Shadow type of colorway. Now we're getting the Chicago colorway, and, and these are pretty much instant coppers. I mean, instant sellouters. Not even coppers, because I'm not copping them. Ain't no way I'm gonna cop them. But these are gone, you know? They're, they're You see them? They're already sold out. You you don't got them. Backdoor shoddy, whatever you got, it, bought up shoddy, whatever you say. They're done, you feel me? I, I, I already know. And these aren't even SBs, these are pro lows. These are just like original dunks. Whew. I ain't got one dunk this year. Last year was tough. I got a pair of lobsters, got a pair of pandas. You know what I'm saying? And I got some some black state, uh, black pigeons a couple years back. I'm happy I got me some sort of dunk so I can at least let people know I've been rocking dunks for a minute. I got my Tiffany's and I got my my California, 31st California States. I, I, got, I, got, I got my little dunk collection, I'm happy. I'm good, but if I can get some more, <laughs> I'll try. Coming in at number four is the Jordan 13 Lucky Green, set to release on September 26th at $190. Now, me personally, I would not have put this on this list that high, but I try to, I try to use my opinions and also the opinions of the popular, pop, the popular opinion as well, and formulate the best type of spot in my mind. I've seen a lot of people like this shoe a lot they're not horrible they're not ugly they're just not my cup of tea and mainly because of what they're trying to recreate which is the jordan 13 ray allen three-point record the pe um they and i wouldn't say that i have not heard from jordan brand specifically yet state that this is a recreation to pay tribute to this and that because like it but we has a sneaker community have pretty much came and said, you know, we know what it is. Now it's not unfamiliar that they re-retro PEs specifically 
for Ray Allen. They did that seven back in the, you know, couple was that, was that this year? Or I think it was last year, I can't remember, but the black one, the black and purple Jordan seven, it didn't have the number on the side, but we knew it was from the Bucks when he played with the Bucks. Now we're seeing this with the Jordan 13 three point record. It's off, it's, it's not the same shoe. The colors are not the same, the insole is black. It doesn't mimic the shoe the right way for me to appreciate it for what it's trying to be. But like I said, Jordan brand, I have not seen anything yet. As far as me reading and looking on doing research, I have not seen them specifically say, you know, to recreate a pass of a great basketball player, we want to tribute this, like, we, I ain't seen none of that type of typing yet. You know what I'm saying? So I need to go look for that. If it's not, it is what it is. But at the same time, Jordan brand know what they're doing. So for that same reason, and they don't have to say that to let us know what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, when it came to those Ray Allen sevens, did they say it? I, I'll let y'all let me know if they said it. And you know, when you go to sneakers app, there's like a little thing underneath the bottom that says all that stuff. I don't know if they said that there, but these just don't mimic those right. I mean, you got Oregon Duck fives coming out. You got Michigan fives that are coming out. You got UNC threes that came out this year, all parts of PEs that did better jobs than these lucky greens. It's alongside with also, like I stated before, the Jordan 7 PE that happened. Even the Richard Hamilton 14s that were really like cherry 14s, remember those? Like they they do better jobs with those and with these, they just don't seem like they're trying to even capture that. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know, but a lot of y'all love them. They're cool, but they're not, they're not, this, this is not me. It is what it is, sue me. Coming in at number three, we have the Nike Dunk High Michigan. Now when I'm doing this guys, I'm doing quotations because I've got a lot of comments. <laughs> People think I'm an Illuminati. I mean, it, guys, I'm capturing you. Like, I can't do hand movements now, guys, because if I'm doing hand movements and stuff, it's like I'm doing triangles and stuff. I don't know what's going on. People are thinking like I'm doing stuff, man. I got a lot of Illuminati comments down below. They, look, man, they haven't got me yet. When I get a million, when your boy's a millionaire, I'll let you know, then you can start asking questions like that. But there's no way that like, bro, come on, man. I'm a normal guy, bro. I'm a normal guy. I'm a normal guy, guy. I'm a normal guy, guy. But the Michigan dunk was last seen back in 2016 as a part of Nike's college, sorry, part of Nike's college program. Um, the program was, you know, back in 2016 and it'll be re-releasing back in the fall of 2020. Supposedly though, that date will be September 26th. And I'm seeing that the release date or the retail price point is $120. Now, all right, I'm, I need my hands back. Now, the pro greens are saying 110. These are saying 120. I, I don't know. I, I don't know which one's which, if it's gonna be one. 110 has been very stable. 120, they some, they, they, they go up $10 sometimes. So just be in the lookout for 110 to 120 when it comes to these. This was a shoe back in 2016 I actually wanted. But I was not... I feel like these are even older than that. I don't know why, but your boy wasn't making no money like that to be. Well, 2016, I was I was living by myself then at that point. I don't know why I missed these out then. I don't know. I always love that Nautica type of colorway, like the yellows and, and navies. I always loved that. So I don't know. I don't know why I missed out on those, but these are dope. I would love to get these. These is definitely high on my list, and that's why I put it up on number three. It might not be for y'all, but for me, that's why I've inched it up there. Coming in at number two, the Jordan 1 Biohack. September 4th, retails $170. Yeah, I, I pushed it up on the list. The Biohack resembles a lot of a 2005 collaboration with Undefeated on the Nike Dunk. And the Biohack is stated to get its inspiration from Tokyo. The neon lights, the eccentric vibes, of downtown Tokyo, all the colors, that's where the biohack gets its inspiration from. And I did not know that till later on doing some more and more research. It just looked to me like a scientific project that was made and that's why everything was in different colors and different materials. But I can understand the neon aspect, the eccentric aspect, the vibes that are given from Tokyo when you see the, the pictures, the games that feature Tokyo in them, it's always lit up crazy down there, you feel me? And I would love to go there one day. But right now we can't go nowhere, we're stuck at home. So all we can do is just think about that. But the Biohack, they killed it, man. I, I'm just really looking forward to this shoe in general. 
I want to get my hands on it. Hopefully, I can get my hands on it next week is what it's looking like. And uh, get that thing out to you guys ASAP Rocky. The release date is September 4th, as stated. I really think these will just sell out. I, I, I do not see these. I just don't see these like sitting. I, I, I would be very, if, if they end up sitting, then I'm tripping. I mean, ones don't sit as is, but I can, I see these doing numbers. I'm not a forecaster when it comes to this stuff, especially on resale. I just buy stuff I like. And if I miss out on it, I miss out on it. I don't even care about reselling in general. Um, although, well, I will sell a shoe, but I don't care about buying resale. I just miss and keep it moving. There's too many shoes dropping, bro. And I already got too many that I need to get rid of. But this one in particular, be on the lookout, keep your eyes peeled because it's gonna cause some trouble, I think, in all honesty, and I love them. Coming in at number one, the Jordan 4 Union. I've spoken my piece already on this shoe. I'm not gonna disrespect it anymore. I've already ranted enough. But why would I put it at number one? Because I know the hype beasts are out there. I know they're growing on me. I, I'm starting to like these. Oh, they are growing. I know it's coming. For not for not for me. For some of y'all. Oh, I ain't say nothing. I ain't say nothing because I already knew. Oh yeah, that's why I ain't say shit, cause I knew eventually y'all were gonna switch up. Hey, who kept that energy though? <laughs> who kept that energy? Knowing that more than likely they were in their head like, dang, these dudes look ugly, man. But then they start, well. Uh, they're growing on me. Yeah, come on, man. You already hear all that stuff. Look, those things are ugly. Supposedly, they are releasing, though. This video is going to be... They're releasing on the 29th um, on Union. Union is going to be releasing these on the 29th. But it said that the global release, the Nike, the Jordan release, will be in September. September 30th is the day that we're actually getting. Retail price, 250 so far. And I'm putting both of them on this list. I'm not gonna choose one or the other. You know what I'm saying? It's the pack in general. When I first saw the shoe, hideous. After I saw the tongue, D, 70. So when I went to college, you got an A, B, C, D, and an F, right? You know what I'm saying? An A was a 90 to 100. A B was an 80 to an 89. A C was a was a uh, 71 to a 79. Yeah, that was a C. A D was a 70. I don't know why. It's stupid. One point is a 70. Because if you see it, a 69, that's an F. I think they changed it now since then. I think, honestly, a 70 to a 75 should be a D. Or maybe, maybe not. Not because I, I, I feel like it gives it some respect there. Yeah. C is better than the D. But the, what, 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 the reason why I'm breaking all that down is a D was passing. So if you got a 70 on your test, you passed. If you get a 69, you failed. This is one point difference. These are a 70 with the tongue exposed. They pass. They were Fs. That tongue brought them to a D. Are they something I need? No. Is it something I'll pay resell for? No. Is it something I'll go after? Yes. Is it something I'll keep? No. I probably would get them, look at them, do a video for you guys there and there, and then let them do what they gotta do, man. That's just my thoughts and opinions on them. But to each his own. The two colorways is the Guava Ice and the Off New York. They're releasing September 30th. Specific release for Union, August 29th. 225 number one so yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you leave a like and comment down below huge shout out to express vpn for sponsoring today's video i want to say thank you guys once again for all the love and support please hit the like button let's get this video up to 3,000 likes can we can we get 3,000 likes that's all i want three two thousand is good let's get three two thousand is gonna be like a, a c man let's get three and get an a you feel me so it is what it is i love y'all thank y'all let me know you guys' list down below in the comment section if you got something different and you disagree. I will see y'all in the next one. It's your boy, Tony D2Wild. I'm checking in. I'm checking out. Peace.